Hey everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to do this week's mini swap embellishments where we take scraps and we make pretty things. That's what we're going to do. Um, we swap with our crafty friends over on Ginger's Corner. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you will join us. The links are below. This week's theme for the mini swap were um, no tools. So there were a list of things you were allowed to use and a list of things you weren't allowed to use. So you couldn't use your cricket, you couldn't use your punches, you couldn't use your dies. You had to be um, creative and just use like scissors, stencils, stamps, that kind of thing. So I decided to pull out some of my branding strips and strips of paper that I had in my little scraps Pringle stand. Talk about that more later and um, create. Now, I also used, and we are gonna have a giveaway, the tags that Nancy sent in the blessings box on Thursday that we found. So um, I've created some clusters with some of those and I'm gonna do a fast forward video real quick and then we'll come back and we'll make these together. I've, I videotaped that separately. So hang in there, enjoy a little bit of music, and I'll be right back.
right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching um, me put together some of the tags and some of the other embellishments because this is a no tools um, embellishment swap. And I wanted to show you some of the ways I like to do it. Um, now, like I said in the beginning, these tags were made by um, Miss Nancy who donated them in the blessings box. And so I'm gonna have a winner. We're gonna go over um, how you can win a few of these. I, I think all together I'll have like four embellished and then you will get the rest of the text. So make sure you pay attention to that. I'm like, I hopefully, I won't forget. <laughs> I won't forget. Okay, I wanted to make one of the embellishments using my border strips. Now on my desk, I just have a Pringles can and a lot of people ask me how I've cleaned this out. Well, I've cleaned this out by just rinsing it super fast with really hot water. And I don't mean drench it, just rinse it really quick. Then take a paper towel right away because inside of here, there's like a little film and just wipe it out really good. But I'm gonna tell you, honestly, yes, I could cover with this paper. And yes, it was my intention when I first did it to do that. But I think I'm gonna get a really cheap vase from the Dollar Tree and replace this. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think that's what I'm gonna do that I don't have to do the project. I have too many projects going on. So a cheap vase would work as well, um, or a mason jar might work. Um, that's a little bit big for my space because um, I am redoing my desk. You guys, organizing's never, it's never ending, right? Never ending. Anyway, so I, um, I do suggest this because then when you're cleaning up your space, right? Nobody wants to sort these in the moment, at least I don't. And nobody wants to um, sit there and have just a drawer full of them. Again, I don't. So I will put them in here. My desk is clean and when this gets full, it's time to address it. That's just how I see it. So let's, um, let's just pull a handful out, right? And then as you saw in the video, I do have, oh, I also, so I don't forget, I put my T-squares in that. So they're sitting on my desk. I used to have them in my drawer. Um, if you guys have watched any, some of my organizing videos, you know I have a countertop with three file cabinets holding it up. Um, just because one, it's easy to move when I wanna rearrange things. And two, it's a huge desk and it was really cheap to do it that way. Just go to Home Depot, get a prefabbed countertop, and then I cover it with wood grain contact paper um, that leaves no residue. If you're interested in any of that or you want any of that information, um, I will just leave me a comment and I'll, I'll give you what we did exactly. I don't wanna get into that. It's an embellishment video, right? <laughs> So, um, but I put my T-squares in there too because in my drawer they kept getting hung up and it was driving me crazy and it's right there. I just got to reach and grab it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of, you saw that I used some Dollar Tree stickers. Um, now, it is a mini swap, so be mindful. Be mindful. Some of these stickers have foam and you probably saw me take some of them apart. Now, this is going to be for a gift right? These are going to be for a prize. So I didn't worry about it as much, but if I were making these actual ones for mini swaps, I would definitely, you saw me again, take some of the foam off and I would um, make them flat because we need our postage to be correct. So, um, but for yourself or for a main swap, this is a great idea. Now all um, I said in the blessings box giveaway, that I would put together one of the bases. Let me, let me find it. And this is a great way to get rid of your border strips, those strips of paper that you have. Amazing, I've done this on a full 12 by 12 and made a base. You can do it on cards, it, it's endless. Like the, it's a perfect way to use these. So what I will usually do is one, pick a color scheme or two, just pick a color. And I would sit and I would tear these apart and put them in, uh, you know, I would um, take them and uh, make a pile of them. And then you're just gonna glue them across here, okay? Cut off the edges. Now to make this, all you would do is cut off one end, flip it over and cut off this end. It's really simple, you guys, like super, super simple. Um, this one, let's see here, we're gonna go with some reds. So, because my sticker sheet 
has, maybe we'll make a garden one. I don't know. I'm trying to use up these sticker sheets. I can maybe even go with pinks and browns. Pink and brown go really well together. And I could use like one of these. These are always so hard for me sometimes to get rid of on sticker sheets, especially when I get to this point. Like, really? Or I need to take it out and put my, my color binder. And if I don't have to do that, then I try not to. Yeah. <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth. So let's see what we got. Let's see. I have, I'm thinking pink and brown. I mean, why not? And it doesn't matter how wide they are. I've got my glue. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna glue it on there. That's it. No rhyme, no reason. I'm just gonna put it on there. Remember, you can always trim it up. I have a tendency, I line up one side so I only have to cut one side, but that's because I'm lazy. Y'all don't need to be like me. Just do better. <laughs> Now this does have some green in it, but it's got pretty pink flowers. So we're just gonna go in there with that one next. I do, I do like it to be monochromatic. I find it easier. I mean, you could go crazy, right? You could use all different colors and you could um, go to town. I really like it to um, be monochromatic. I find it easier to use personally. Um, Otherwise, I find that I, oh, that's red. I find that I struggle. Like, it's beautiful when I make it. But then when I go to use it on an actual page or something, I find it very hard for me to use. A little bit of silver. A little tiny bit. Or gold or rose gold. I think that'll work. And we'll just go like that. Okay. And like so. We will have ourselves a tag, okay? Flip it over and just follow um, what the lines you've already got. And then you can start all over and you can use all those strips again until they're all gone. And once we have that, don't mind my mess, I kinda just want to build a little cluster. Um, in the couple of those with the strips, now I can't show them to you again. I'm finishing this after I mailed those off because I needed to get them mailed off. These ones, I'm keeping all these. I'll put them in my sentiments drawer. Um, but, and we are gonna build a little cluster with some branding strips. I'm gonna do that as an example too. So this is kind of a long embellishment video for me. It's not necessarily my norm, okay? But take your clusters and just build a little something with them. Now, let's see, that could just go on there. I kind of like it this way. We'll see what else we can put on here. I see all these little butterflies. So here's one, right? Here's one. I'm just gonna gather up these butterflies. A Little bit of teal. Um, we're gonna have those on standby. Maybe we'll grab that big one too. Yes, I know. I use my hand all the time. There's another one. And here's another one, it's pink, so we definitely wanna get this one, okay? There's a dragonfly. We're gonna to try to put this fan in there, give it a, a homestead, you know, farmhouse, whatever we wanna call it, look. We could maybe even get this heart in there. Look at that, okay? Just don't be afraid to tuck things. I can't say that enough. It's okay. Just tuck it in there. You can always take it out, right? I do kind of like the picture, but I don't know if we can make that work. If it won't look. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I like that. I like that. I don't think I like the picture in there. But what I would like is some butterflies. I like this one. I know that. Pulls in the peach. Good with that. So the question is, where can this go? See, I'm moving stuff. Just move it. There we go. A little one. Here's another one. Just like that. I think that might be it. I might not even use any of these. I'm okay. Then I take my um, baby powder. You don't have to have this tool. In fact, I will never buy this tool again. Look, all my little bristles are misappeared. They make the little baggies. And honestly, I've heard of people just having a little Dollar Tree container full of baby powder and you just toss it in there real quick. Smart. And once this 
is no longer usable, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I, I have heard the little bags that you can buy that are filled with baby powder <clears throat> are good. I don't even know what they're called, but I do that so it doesn't get attached to others. And just like that, I have, I would punch a hole right here. I can do that real quick. Why not? What do we got to do? We're hanging out, right? And I'm just going to punch a hole in here. Helps if I turn it the right way, right? And I might have to, I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, there's a tag, just like that. And you put a ribbon in there, okay? Now, if you're making tags for a mini swap, even a regular swap, because it will save you on postage, um, then just tape, washi tape it to the back. I think I want to build around this, all right? And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to take the stickers off and start mashing them together. <laughs> now, again, don't be afraid to do this. Just don't. It's okay. Do we want it like that? No. I don't know. Maybe like that even? I kind of like that. All right. I don't know if it's going to stay that way. We might change our mind. Um, see anything right this second. But I'm just going to go for a farmhouse thing. And I'm going to use the cows. Why not? We may as well. Cluck. Oink. <laughs> I love this sticker. But it's kind of, for me, it was kind of hard to use. So I'm going to use it in a cluster. You know, I could not use this one. And I could use this farmer's market. I'm going to readjust it here. I'm going to take the cows off. Oh, look. Doesn't that look already better? Okay. Let's do that. Now, if I make the sticker cluster first and then put it on there, I'm not ripping the paper. That's why I'm doing this, okay? I like the tractor, so why don't we, since we have the cows on one side, let's put the tractor on the other, just like so. Now, this is a mini swap, so I don't want to keep going crazy, crazy over here, but um, I do want to use in my stickers. I do. Farmers use seeds, so I'm wondering if I shouldn't. Okay, this might get bigger than I want it to, but that's all right. We're just going to go with the flow. Could use flowers, right? Should I do this this way? Nah. I don't think so. And this way. Now, I want seeds to stand out in one of them so we know these are seed packets. Not that one wouldn't, but you know. Okay, so that might mean I need to move this one over a little bit. Just gently pull it up. Okay, just like that. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Did you guys notice I did this in the video? This is all sticky, right? I'm just going to take some strips of paper and give it something to stick to, okay? Okay. Now, I'm not going to make it difficult on myself. These are just scrap papers anyway. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. And then I'll trim up around the parts that I need to. Trying to be mindful. Okay. It also gives it some stability when you do this. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go like this. Okay. Uh, just cut it up and give this somewhere to go. And like I said, it makes it stable. So just food for thought. This is how I do it. That doesn't mean that's how you have to do it. It just means this is how I do it. Now I think, is this showing? Now see, we have some showing. So all I'm gonna do is peel that up and go like that. I'll just turn it and go like that. That's all right. And then this one I'm going to have to cut. Just don't cut the sticker. We'll be fine. But it's easy, right? It's just a straight line. Okay. So there is my stickers cluster. And I'm using what I have. I'm using up scraps. I'm not using any tools, right? None whatsoever. Oh. And then I took... And I did banners off of a few, right? S but this time I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. I'm just gonna put something nice right here on the bottom. I like this floral. 
this works for me. Mm, I want to pull it down some. Okay. Just, I think I'm going to let that even that right there. Let's give it enough that I can banner it. All right. Just like that. And then I'm going to banner it with my smaller scissors. You guys, I got these on Timu. These are amazing. I didn't think they were going to be that good. They really are good. I made a cute cluster. This is ready to go. You could easily just put this at the top of a page. It could be the whole cluster. Use up the things that we already have. Okay, just like that. Looky there. And somebody that gardens would love this. I would love this to be honest, <laughs> okay? So there's that. Um, then I'm gonna take my powder, right? And I'm gonna go just like that. I've used up some more strips. I didn't, you know, didn't use any tools, used up some stickers. We all have these sticker sheets where we have like six or seven stickers left on them. And there we go. Another no tool, used up my goodies. Again, if you wanted to do banners, you could do them coming off like I did the one in the um, fast forward video. Lots of different ways you could do this. Then I'm sure you saw me taking apart this um, Dollar Tree wood veneer. We're gonna make a title cluster. That's all I'm gonna do, make a title cluster, okay? And I'm just gonna take a few strips of paper. Again, you can do whatever colors you want. Ooh, okay, looky there. All right, let's see where we can go with this. Go like this, go like this. Let me tell you guys what I'm envisioning, a banner, just a banner title. That's, that's simple. This is gonna be 12 inches anyway, and I'm just gonna keep going down could just like that maybe hmm and then just have forever in the middle now we're gonna cut this down because this one is for a minute swap and we're only allowed to be nine inches so I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller than I would but if you were making it for yourself you could easily use your border strips take this wood veneer apart and if you soak it in water it comes apart easier I just have this little creative memories tool that I've had forever and a day. Look, it has glue and stuff all over it, ink and everything else. And I just slide it under there and it works pretty well. But you could do it however you wanted. And we could even ink these edges and make them stand out just a little bit. And that would be a title. So I'm going to go like this. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to fishtail both sides of this one and one side of this. And I'm just gonna glue it on there. Now, the reason I took this wood veneer apart is because it's a mini swap. You could easily, this, and this is from the Dollar Tree. You find these all the time now. But we want it to be flat. We don't want it to be bulky. That's why I took it apart. But otherwise, you could just leave it together. I've done that when I'm not making it to mail. We do that because we're mailing it, right? Okay, so I gotta figure out just exactly where this is gonna go, okay? Just like so, right? And I have a plan, I have a plan. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do. And I'm gonna cut this one right. Don't glue these ends down before you do this. You'll regret it. Right there. Yeah, I can always cut it down more. And then another one right there and I'm gonna fish till these ends to go with it okay now I have this now I could just put this on there and call it good but if you guys know me you know I'm always punching out flowers always I have this sitting here <laughs> I had some scraps the other day so I think what I'm going to do is maybe put some of these together real quick and I'm gonna beef this up. It's all gonna be flat, so it should look okay. Just like that, put some here, and I'm gonna do it before I put down the forever. We'll do like two on this side, okay? Just gonna put them together. This is why I love taking all those little scraps and just having flowers. I know these all coordinate because this came from the same piece of paper, so I'm not really gonna stress about that part of it. More glue. Do you guys ever like to just sit and create? 
This is one of those things. I'm not really making a scrapbook layout, but I'm definitely creating and finding joy in my paper for sure. All right, so now that I have all those down, let's, vamos, let's make a clean spot here. I put this paper down so that my desk doesn't get glue and stuff all over it. I have a tendency to drop things and throw them around. I totally do. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, and you know, if, if you wanted to, you could take these apart as well and get more bang for your buck, definitely. And some people don't like any bulk in their scrapbook pages as well. So now I might have excess amount of glue on there for what we need. All right, just like that. Then if I was not doing these for a swap to mail, I would put enamel dots in the middle of each flower. I will leave that for the recipient to do. But just like that, I have a banner cluster. See how that works? And you're using up those strips of paper. You could do this in so many ways. Like you could make this, then you could take a um, block of paper, find some scraps that would match somewhat pink or, or peach or even blue, make a journaling block to match it. I still got lots of flowers here. There's lots of ways to do this. All right, so in... The giveaway. Let's talk about that. I'm done. I'm done rambling. <laughs> you guys are probably done seeing me, right? Um, let's see. To win the tags, and I'm going to include these two banners. I'll just make some more. Okay. So, in these, with the tags, you're going to get these that I made here. These three. You're going to get these clusters that I've made. Kind of a farm theme going on. Well, that's a leftover sticker sheet I had, right? So, you will get these and then you will get this whole stack that was donated by Nancy. They're already ready and you can play, okay? I'm not gonna send you any border strips because I'm sure you have your own. So we're gonna do that. And in the comments below, first of all, we'll have it run for a week. So next Saturday, I will um, do the winner. It will only be on YouTube, that's it. Um, comment what you like to do with your border strips. Just tell me what you like to do with them. Do you even use them? Are you inspired by this video? Do you have someone that inspires you? Is there someone you like to watch to that uses border strips all the time? I would love to see new ways. I'm all about us sharing each other's um, gifts and inspiration. Tell me what you wanna do. I hope that you have a lot of fun and you're inspired to do it, like I said, and don't be afraid to slice things and modify them. Um, I need to glue that on better. Um, like I did this wood veneer, get more, more bang for your buck. Like I said, use those scraps. Things are so expensive. I mean, come on, we buy sticker sheets with this kind of stuff on it. We really do, all of us do, well, I do. And so tell me what you do with your border strips. I hope you will join us on Ginger's Corner. I We do different themes. This just happened to be a no tools. It was inspired by Captain Barb. Um, and yeah, every, every Sunday. So tomorrow starts a new one. I didn't get this video out yesterday because I had storms. And by the time I was ready to upload it, I had no internet. Yeah, I know. People problems, right? Ginger problems. Um, I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something. Oh, I'd be honored if you liked the video. It helps grow the channel because it brings people to the Facebook group. So we have more people to swap with. We have swaps in Canada, swaps in Europe. Comment below for a chance to win. And with that, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye. <laughs>